Best of fans, welcome back to the platform. Today's topic, Triple H wants to make a deal for Shayna Baszler not to go elsewhere with NXT. Let's get into it. Shayna Baszler showed up on WWE Raw this week. She took a bite out of Becky Lynch, but that doesn't seem to mean she's leaving NXT for good. During the press conference call for NXT TakeOver Portland, Triple H was asked about Shayna Baszler's current status. He says she's still in she's still an NXT superstar as far as he's concerned. Then he said that the situation could be like a real sports team where a trade might be arranged. My personal opinion on this, she's better off on NXT. If she comes to the main roster, she's already on Monday Night Raw. Let's just hope they don't keep her on there. Let's just hope this is just the hype for WrestleMania. Shayna Baszler is on the books to face Becky Lynch at Mania. Her appearance on Monday Night Raw was not just a one-time deal. We'll have to see if she continues her lust blood feud after WrestleMania. New match advertised for WWE Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. The Elimination Chamber will be WWE's final pay-per-view before WrestleMania. Now one more match has been advertised locally for the card. The card is always subject to change, but the fact that you've got Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman versus Daniel Bryan versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin versus Robert Roode. That just sounds like absolute mayhem. I just did a video reporting that WWE just threw their names out there to sell tickets. That match is subject to change, but with the winner receives a Universal Championship match at Mania. You've got the New Day versus The Miz and John Morrison, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, plus Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, Bailey, Charlotte Flair, and many more. The card is subject to change, so. Pff, if I hear any more news, I will let you know, but it's clearly Roman Reigns is going over in the Elimination Chamber. Peace.